Welcome to another vlog. Come shop with me and save some money, y'all. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, it's early in the morning here. It's about 6.45 in the morning. It's 15 minutes before Walmart is open. And per my last video, I did tell you guys that I was going to show you how I coupon. And this is honestly just going to be like a little random day. And I'm just going to show you guys what I do. Walmart opens up here in Miami about 7 a.m. So I'm going to try to get there around 7, 7.30 so we can get all the good deals. And then meat is usually on sale around this time because it's the meat from the day before. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it. But first off, let's go here. Y'all, so the first thing I do when I'm getting ready to go shopping is I look at my Ibotta. I'm going to go through Ibotta and see what kind of deals they have and then compare them to our Sunday's coupons because I only get coupons on Sundays and this week in my Ibotta's account I have about $11.89 so I honestly only need less than $9 to go ahead and make it $20 for me to get it back in my account which I definitely think I'm going to be getting way more than $20 from Walmart. But if you go on my website, uniquelia.wordpress.com, if you have not used Walmart pickup yet, you can go to my website, click the link for Walmart pickup, and I will give you a $10 coupon. Yes, you get $10 off of your order. So feel free to go ahead and go over to my website and get you some groceries. Now, I also end up going to my coupons app. Now, you can print out coupons from this offer. However, I don't print from them anymore. What I do, I just go to the store that I'm going to go to, which is the Walmart. And then I look for offers that are compared to the coupons that I have. For Breeze are on the coupon site, which I have a coupon for for buy one get one free so i definitely will be picking up the febreze because i'm going to get one for free and i'm also going to get a dollar back so that's a good deal so guys we got a couple of dove deals here now i really don't have my dove coupons because they did expire but like if you look here on coupons.com you have a couple of dove deodorant deals for a dollar fifty back two dollar fifty back excluding the men's because I don't need that but we also have some ibotta deals as well here so i'm definitely going to be picking up some dove because dove is expensive for, for me to get two to four dollars off and can, can, can come and combine for me to get two dollars off combination so four dollars that's a steal now it'd be even better if i had a coupon hopefully i can find one that's not expired but ooh, i love me some dove Okay, this is a great deal. Now, they have $2 back at Tide. I also have a, a paper coupon for another $2 back, making it $4. So, that's a great deal. This Tide is probably only going to cost me $1, guys. All right, y'all. So, I'm on my way to the car so we can head to Walmart. I'm not going to get a lot. I honestly just want to get the bonus this week, the $10 bonus. Um, I forgot what it was, but I'll show you guys. And I'll see you when we get to Walmart. Hey y'all, so I'm here at Walmart and I'm trying to find a deal that would match the Purdue chicken. Not the Purdue harvest, but the straight up Purdue chicken. And at the Walmart that I'm at, they don't have regular just straight Purdue. So look what I got instead. I got the Cornish hen and it worked because I scanned it on the app and it completely worked. And this Cornish hen is about $4 and I think I'm going to get $1.50 off. So. I mean, I wish I could get a better deal, but I'm trying to get my bonus. So that's what I'm going to get. The ribs, the cheese ones, the cheddar ones are actually a really good deal because they're buy one, get one free on Ibotta. Plus there's an additional $1 rebate on Ibotta each for getting these. So not only am I going to get one for free i'm going to get a dollar off both of them and since they're what two dollars and 93 cents so that's two dollars off so i'm paying 93 cents just for the both of these that's an awesome great deal all right y'all so this might not be a great of a deal to y'all but i really like yogurt so you get two dollars off if you purchase 10 of these 
Chobani yogurt and there's also a Ibotta, I'll insert a clip. There's also a Ibotta if you, uh, for a BOGO, buy one, get one free. If you pick up two of the flips and I'm gonna pick up 10 of them. Yes, that may not sound like a good deal to you guys and it's not the best deal, but I really, really do enjoy yogurt. So I am gonna pick up 10 of these to get two off and then get go ahead and get an additional two of them for free. So basically, just about three and a half, four of them will be considered free because I'm doing this deal. Uh, so I try not to even eat pasta, but I got a 75 cent off coupon. Plus there's an Ibotta deal for, I think, I don't know, a dollar off. I'll add it to the screen. I really don't remember, but I'm just going to get two of these. They cost a dollar and 38 cents, so why not? Okay, guys, we made it. This is the deal that I'm the most excited about. Hold on. We are at the Rimmel London section of the makeup. Rimmel London. And... Look at that, I told you guys the lip gloss in my previous vlog that it was $3.97. So, we have a coupon, let's find the coupon. A dollar off. So, since we have one dollar off coupon, and we also have a three dollar about a rebate, which I'm gonna pop up on the screen for you guys. I'm going to get two of them because one is automatically going to be free and I'm going to make three cents off of one, but I'm going to get an additional three dollars from my bottom, make me only pay one dollar for each, so 50 cents each, which I'm okay with. Plus, it'll bring my total up more from Ibotta. And I think I'm going to go with these two. Let's see. Just drop one of them both on the floor. Look at that. I'm bad at filming. Oh, forgive me. And when I get home, I'm gonna show you guys all this because I just could not keep pulling out the camera for this, so. But this is so far what I have in my basket. And all of them are not I buy the deals, but you know. So, I also have a coupon for $1 off any eye product. And I think there's an eye bottle for $2.20. I see that this mascara is $5.97. I'm gonna see if I can find something a tad bit cheaper. That's an eye product. And so far what I see are these down here for $3.97. And these are brow sculpting kit. So I wonder with this cover. So let's find out on Ibotta. I'm about to check and see if the Ibotta would even take this and consider this an eye product. Hold on guys. Find out if an Ibotta deal would work what I do is go to Ibotta and then I type in what I'm trying to get a rebate for and I'm trying to get a rebate for a Rimmel product uh, spell it right next time Leah so for a Rimmel product so you see two dollars and twenty cent back uh, and I'm going to check to see if the sh eyeshadow that I got works. Okay, it scanned so freaking fast, but let's find. Let's see. Focus. It works. So this product for the brows completely works. So that is what I'm going to buy for $3.97, $2.20 back, making it $1.77. And plus a dollar off coupon making it uh, 77 cent for this one product. Wait a minute guys, I see something for $2.97, but uh, it's sold out, damn. So I see something for $3 though, and 47 cent, but that's look like something I'll never use. What's this, eyeliner truth, color precise. I would never buy that. But this is something I would definitely use. A brow pencil for $3.47. It'll make it cheaper. So we're going to get this instead. What color is this? Black. I need it in dark brown. So, yeah. We're going to get this for $3.47. And use our dollar off coupon. Because if this worked with our scanning app, that means this should definitely work. So. We're gonna find out. Hold on, guys. So back to our Ibotta app, and we're going to scan to see if this product works. So, and it works. So we're gonna get that one. 
check the price so you didn't have to go all the way to Walmart you can just go to the Walmart app and scan the product let's see we're gonna scan a product because I want to see how much these lashes cost I wanted to buy some these are $13.48 let me check and see how much these cost yeah, I was right. Six ninety four. So far, is our total. We got that much stuff left, and I still have my coupons. Remember, some of these things I did not have coupons for. Gotta wait for the Ibotta rebate and coupon rebate. You ready? Okay, I didn't film on my way here, but pero I got a free turkey. Um, I'm in like the little Havana area um, on Southwest 14th. And it's like not far away from Calle Ocho. And I'm excited. Free turkey. This baby is huge. Here, let me show y'all. So, la policia aquí está bien. And by the time you guys see this, of course, all the turkeys will be gone. But all right, guys, let me show you exactly where. Right over there. I, I didn't pull the camera out fast enough for you guys to actually see but free turkeys all right y'all so i'm driving back home let me turn this down so i'm driving back home and it's so weird because i used to work for the government here in miami and boy being back in the hood is something different like i'm over here like near overtime about to hit, merge onto 95 to head to the crib and boy oh boy so i just left little havana because uh i went and got a free turkey i am going to make sure i insert a clip so you guys can see but i didn't pull the camera out soon enough of me actually picking the turkey up so you you guys can see and by the time this video come out of course the turkeys will be all gone um but it's a spanish speaking area like really nobody here speaks english well i'm in overtown so every just about everybody here just speak english but um in little havana over there it's so hard to find an english speaking person so um if i was to tell you guys to go out there for one i don't even have a lot of people watching my vlogs yet but if i did it'd be kind of difficult to be like uh yeah so they're only going to be speaking spanish so as y'all can see i had left walmart now i'm about to head to the crib like for the fourth time of me saying and i hope there's not mad traffic and these roads are just so freaking ghetto oh my god i'm about to show y'all how the roads in miami look and like the crap that i go through but then again i want to admire like what this look like because i haven't been over here in so long y'all i haven't worked for the government in over i think damn two years yikes all right y'all let me let me get y'all on the side of what i see so today even though it's my off day hopefully you guys can hear me over all this um driving around and stuff but i think i might end up going to go get my uh wheels um not rotated but a como they como say they say the wheels when you damn how do you say um uh balanced <laughs> I 
think the camera angle is a lot better this way. I have the camera angle a little lower and I feel like I can see the road a lot better now that I have it faced this way too. So hopefully you guys like this angle better. And again, I still have a problem looking here at myself rather than looking here at y'all. <laughs> it's like hard to do that shit or crap. Okay guys, so we made it home and now let's just grab all of these groceries. <laughs> We're gonna grab all the groceries and put them in the house and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then I'm gonna show you guys what we saved on. Again, this was me trying to get the bonus. There's definitely way better deals out there. It's just, I didn't need that much food in the house I just grab um, what was, of course, cheap and what I usually do eat. So let me stop blabbing and I'll meet you guys in the crib. Now that I'm on Ibotta, I want to see how much money I'm going to get back based off all the things that we had purchased. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Redeem and I click Walmart. And while that's loading, I'm going to go ahead and take my receipt and scan and let it find all my deals. So it said it found 27 offers, which is good because I needed 29 to get the complete um, deal back. But I'm scanning and going down here making sure they didn't miss anything. And look at that. Yes, the world they did. So boom, what we about to do is go in and manually put in some of the stuff that they are missing. So I'm going to put um, verify more offers and then I'm going to go and type in the Purdue Harvest land. I'm going to check that and it's going to it's usually going to ask you to scan. But All right, so Harvest Chicken is asking me to scan and look offer a match so they it looks like they have just about everything we were supposed to get back so we're so we are going to get $42.15 back with 30 offers so I'm submitting my receipt right now so it says I'm supposed to be getting $42.15 back within the next 24 hours sweet and you I had 27 deals so I needed 29 I needed two more so I'm just gonna purchase two more before the deal is up and the deal that I'm talking about right here where it says feast you get an extra ten dollars for having 35 offers you see I have 33 out of 35 already redeemed so I'm just going to go ahead and redeem two more offers at a store near me within the next two days okay guys now that we got our money back from Ibotta now it's time to get money back from coupons.com so again we're going to go to the app we're going to go press redeem and then of course i'm going to go to walmart and what i'm going to do is take a photo of my receipt so you see that all right and then it's asking to scan so i'm going to scan all the products that i know we're going to get rebates for and that's like all the dove okay. we have our tie that we we're gonna get off um, the Febreze Okay, they're going to validate the receipt and we wait and we will get an email stating all the things that they will give us money back for. All right, guys, now that I showed you guys all my freaking groceries over there, this is that free turkey that they were giving out in Little Havana today in Miami. So... This is definitely going to be cooked on Thanksgiving this year. Nice and big. 
it's already thawed out but i am going to stick it in the freezer so total i got about a little bit over more than 50 dollars back so i paid for all this food honestly about less than 90 dollars so that's a really good deal because to get food for cheap is actually pretty freaking hard so i forgot to tell you guys but i also will get money back on fetch rewards i think i left a fetch rewards link on my website uniquelia.wordpress.com and we're going to go ahead and redeem some points for gift cards next time so what i'm going to do is just go ahead and take a picture and scan my walmart receipt and for whatever i purchase i will go ahead and get points back so it's uploading and let's see how much we're going to get we got 318 points nice so let's make sure they didn't miss anything so far so good press done and let's see how many points i have i have 7666 points and to get a walmart gift card for you guys what you would do is you would go to use points I just like to get a Walmart gift card. You can get any gift card of your choice. Just type in Walmart. And I qualify for a $5 Walmart gift card. So what I would do is go ahead. I'm not going to do it because I want a little bit more. Um, I will press the $5 mark. And then it will go ahead and take 6,000 points. Leaving me with 1,666 points. And then I can use that e-gift card at Walmart stores for future purchases. All right, guys, that's it. All right, y'all, so, all right, so this is what I'm eating. I'm eating some arroz amarillo con pollo. I made this on my other vlog. You guys will see that vlog before you see this one, which is not even uploaded or even completely edited yet. But I'm eating lunch because honestly, I didn't even get a chance to eat breakfast. I put all of the groceries away and i'm honestly about to just sit here relax watch some tv and when i get a chance when i'm not in my lazy mood i'm going to edit the vlog before this one or i don't even think it's a vlog i think it's honestly just a cooking video and then edit this one upload that one and relax because honestly i don't know what it is but i am tired it could have been that long work week because remember that other vlog that you guys already see that's plugged up that sunday vlog i had to go to work that monday and remember i told you oh it's not gonna be that bad it's just a monday the lies i said because boy monday night was horrible and i'm tired and it's what thursday and i don't know what it is i'm just exhausted it could be the weather it could be doing all that ripping and running around or it could be because i did start eating a tad bit and unhealthy. well not a tad bit a lot of bit unhealthy and i had those donuts the day before so yeah i'm about to eat and then chill and eventually i'm gonna like start getting back active and get up and do some dancing and moving around because i know i'm not about to go outside and ride that bike and that's it so i'll see you guys later well i'm here downtown like i said before and i was not helped to the best because the courts are closed but they gave me a some paperwork to uh, to fill out and just mail it right back to the court. I just think this pandemic thing is such a huge freaking inconvenience because not only did I just pay for parking for nothing, but I'm trying to hurry up and get this crap taken care of. Like, wow, it's my day off, and now I gotta wait and see if there's ever even going to be a freaking court date because. I kind of want to hurry up and get this stuff taken care of. Oh, Lord. I'll probably speak more in detail about this situation that I'm talking about sometime in the future. But ahora is just not the best time. So, I'm on my way walking back to the car. 
and we about to just head home. I honestly don't think I'm going to vlog anything else much here because this honestly was just a day of me shopping. I mean, then again, I did tell you guys I'm going to go to Publix to go um, see if I can get two more offers. So I might do that. Head to Publix. Get two more things to get my 10 bucks. And if I do that, that'll be the end of the vlog. But if not, this is the end. So we'll see, y'all. We'll see. All right, y'all. This is like a slight little rant. Like, I was just telling y'all how it's like a huge inconvenience that the freaking court is closed because of this crazy-ass pandemic battle. Like, like I said before, like, I'm wasting gas. Um, I was just over here. Y'all saw me over here earlier, like, when I picked up the free turkey. Like, downtown is not far from Little Havana. It's just a huge inconvenience. Like, I just wasted gas, my time, money on parking. Uh, how the heck do I get back home? I haven't driven. This is new. I've never seen that right there. They just put a new thing, or maybe that's just my first time paying any attention. Anyway. Okay, that's how you get back. That's why I never park all the way back there. But, Lord, like, this is such a huge inconvenience for us. Dead serious. And I hate to rant. And I might even, I might not even leave this part in the vlog. I honestly might just take this out better. Um, it's just frustrating, for real. And it's not like I have anybody to talk to. I live here in Miami with no family, no friends. Hell, even if my family was here, I wouldn't even speak to them. Like, I'd be solo dolo like I was when I was back at home in Michigan. Like, I was by myself. Only people I had were my little nieces and nephews. And I'm just, I'm just a little irritated because I wasted some money. I had chips in this cup. So, yeah, this is a huge inconvenience, bro. And now my, it's about to die. My camera's about to die, so, bye, y'all. All right, so, I had to get the Iceland instead because they do not have the So Delicious pairing. They just have the regular So Delicious coconut yogurt alternative, which you have to buy five of those to get the deal, and that is not a steal. I need a steal, honey. So a dollar seventy nine for the Iceland, you get a seventy five percent re or seventy five percent rebate, making it a dollar and four cent. So whatever. Guess what? So we back in the car from public, but I just realized something. So it just started raining here in Miami. Look, as you guys can see, you can see water drops on my freaking car. In my rearview mirror. And remember, we were at Walmart this morning. <laughs> I forgot to check to see if they had any car covers. Luckily, it stopped raining and baby is still clean and dry. But oh, with this hurricane season, you don't know how heavy the rain is going to come. So I'm not trying to get my car soaking wet again because the soak. To suck all that water out is a task and my car is finally looking good, smelling good and clean. I don't need my car flooded again. <sighs> so tomorrow, we're going to go to Walmart again to check to see if they have any freaking car covers. Guys, I just keep running all over Dade County for things that I knew I needed. And that I knew I had to do and I'm going to the same places like I was already near downtown in he Little Havana like I told y'all earlier to get the free turkey those are like right next to each other I drove past the courthouse to get home so I had to go back to go to get the paper which they didn't even give me the paper they told me to go online and do it and then now I'm here at Publix across the street from my house Lord it's always something and we are about to clean these deals here 
and get our money as you guys can see i paid a total of three dollars and 19 cents the total was originally four dollars but a dollar came off a dollar hat came off due to me using the e coupon so all right guys let's get the frock out of here <laughs> the frock and go home and claim this on ibotta guys so i'm back and as you guys can see my current earnings are 66 dollars and four cent i went ahead and submitted my receipt from ibotta or from publix in regards to the Keebler's pie crust and the Iceland yogurt that I purchased. And as you can see right here under Publix where it said that I had earned $1. There it is, the Iceland and the Keebler's pie crust. So I also went ahead and earned the $10 for the feast mode for actually getting a chance to redeem 35 out of 35 offers before for the 20th so thank goodness i was able to get that done and again i went ahead and also got 42 dollars and 15 cent from walmart so hey guys so in total i paid 127 dollars and 35 cent at walmart here's the receipt here remember with this walmart receipt there's some things that i purchased without coupons so that's why it's so high for example like i bought some lashes those are just things that i didn't show you i also bought um some camera material for me to walk more comfortably i bought you know what else in here that you guys didn't really see it doesn't matter but there were things on here that i didn't buy so approximately approximately when it came to food i honestly only spent about a hundred dollars and then if you want to include all the coupons and whatnot again that have went down too as well as the i bought a rebate the i bought a rebate at walmart i believe was 42 dollars and like 15 cents i will add it to the screen because i don't remember and i also got another what dollar from redeeming my Publix coupon my Publix items which were the yogurt and the keeblers which again you guys just saw that clip i just got a short term memory problem so clearly i can't remember um and i spent about three dollars 19 cent but i got a dollar back via ibotta so for that whole thing i got a, i paid two bucks for it so clearly you can see like i try my best to save as much as possible and I mean, I'm not perfect. There are so many other deals that I've missed out on and I could have been more precise on, but I honestly wanted to get food. I really didn't want to get like hair products or anything like that. This is something that, you know, is going to keep me alive eating because <laughs> I love to eat. So in that case, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I didn't do too much. I, um, I'm honestly going to just shower, stay home and catch up on some Hulu, which is my lawn order. <laughs> and... I hope this wasn't boring because I didn't do really anything too, too, too exciting. But again, I'm still getting a hold or the hang of vlogging. Hopefully you guys keep on with me. All my social media is either Unique Leah or Leah Unica. I definitely will have it in the description box as well as I will have it popped up on the screen for you guys right over here. <laughs> so hopefully you guys see me soon if i'm up to vlogging and something interesting happens if not i definitely will be writing some blog posts because this brain of mine is always going and going and going and going so i'm always thinking about something oh and it's this really interesting topic that i want to talk to you guys about and i honestly want you guys opinion even though i do not have a lot of followers hopefully you guys will be able to share this video so i can get other people's opinion because i really 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 want to know what you guys think besides that i don't want to give too much information i'll see you guys on the next go round <laughs>